by now, then you should probably get familiar. Get familiar. Today we are going to be doing my updated makeup routine. I swear I update it like every 8 days. I'm very experimental with my makeup, I don't have no set routine down yet. Shout out to my mother-in-law, she got me this big pack of makeup wipes. <laughs> so before I start my makeup, I always make sure I wash my face, we already did that before I even start the video. But I washed my face like first thing this morning and it's currently about to be like 11 so... We're just gonna prep and make sure by using a cleansing wipe. Okay. Next, I go in with these acne pads. They're extremely effective. I just give my whole face a good wipe because I do feel some little baby pimples and I can actually see them. I let that dry and then I put on some very moisturizing lotion. The acne pads really do dry your face out so you just wanna make sure that you use a very moisturizing lotion. I don't use like toners and skin oils and vitamin C serums and stuff. I feel like there's so many products people put on their face. Like which ones actually work? Which ones are like actually necessary to get like brightened skin, dark marks gone? I'm just scared of wasting my money. I'm trying to have like 10k in three months. <laughs> Time to zoom in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's like a pimple right here. Do you see it? I like this primer. Um, it definitely does smooth out my face and my pores are already small, but it, you know, makes the application smooth. <laughs> Focus it mainly on like my eyes and like my cheeks here. Just because my eyes like notorious for creasing and like so are my smile lines. And I put like a little on my forehead because why not? I only do two pumps of this foundation. As of late, I've been like smacking it into my skin like before. I was just gently tap it. But these days, I'm like pounding it in like very hard. <laughs> So here's a close-up of the skin and how it looks. I have pretty smooth skin, not the smoothest. There's like a few little bumps. I have semi-smooth skin and I think the primer did its job. We both did a good job. <laughs> Next, I go in with concealer. I use like three different concealers. And that's probably why there's always creasing under my eyes. <laughs> I don't know, I watched one TikTok where it says a little goes a long way and then I watched another one where it says be generous, like I don't know. I think it just depends on the person and you just gotta weigh it by who you are. My under eye is gonna crease, no matter what. Okay, I could put no concealer on, my under eye is gonna crease. So I think less is more for me, but I always still use more. <laughs> Ignore the fact that one of these is actually just a whole foundation bottle. Going in with my really pale one. It's important for me to use bronzer. I didn't always use bronzer, but because I use such a bright, concealer it makes me look really pasty so I have to even it out by using bronzer and contouring my cheeks. I go like this, boink. I let it dry a little bit. It's very effective. I let it dry. I learned that from TikTok as well. I make sure I pull it up. Supposed to do right. Skin is so brightened. <laughs> and then just kind of try to blend it all out and make sure it all makes sense. <laughs> I use this powder foundation as my bronzer. It works so good. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's even. my forehead. <sighs> I can't forget my forehead. Okay, yeah. There we go. <laughs> but it could be worse. <laughs> I'm gonna go on with my second layer of concealer for my eyes. And because it is already creasing, I don't know if you can see it, I can definitely see it. 
I'm gonna do it really lightly. I'm just gonna highlight it real quick before I put on um, blush. <laughs> Let it sit and dry. I like to let it get so dry that it's like almost cracking and then go in and blend it out and it ends up looking really nice. I do have to quickly go in with my setting powder because this is going to crease like it's nobody's business if I don't. Remember to always look up when you're doing it to make sure you're not blending it into creases. Now it's time for eyeliner. Honestly, I haven't experimented with many eyeliners. I just keep using the same one. Every time it runs out, I go and get this exact one. I use this liquid one when I want to do like a really nice wing. Observe. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> Can't see. Next, I'm going to go in with the Sky High Mascara. I just bought this. I've been using it for about a week. I really like it. Here's the difference. Let's compare. There's just two coats of the mascara. This is none. <laughs> Lashes are complete. Now I'm going to use this random neutral makeup palette <laughs> to contour my nose. We're gonna blend it out now. Try to get some of the thick product off the brush. Mm, I should probably, I should probably use a different brush. Kind of did a really weird patchy job, but it's okay. The highlight will save the look. Next, gonna go in with my infallible blush in the shade Legendary Berry. rub it out on my wrist and try to blend it and we're gonna have to save this cheek oh my gosh pull it up just try to pull it all up I'm gonna have to like brush this in and then pull it up oh my gosh <laughs> that looks really good to me too much to you. Beauty blender on this side, it's kind of a lot. That's good. <laughs> and to finish off the contouring of my nose, I'm gonna use this highlighter. Well, well. <laughs> this is my go-to powder highlight. <laughs> Look at how shiny. I always try to do this in a really straight line. Balloon this out. And then I put some in the corner of my eyes. It's like an instant glow and highlight. <laughs> it's so glowy. Now I'm gonna add some to my cheeks. I just do like a simple line like that and then I blend it out. <laughs> I just like to make it more subtle. But don't attack me, but I use a mascara for my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm gonna use my eyeliner pencil to draw my beauty marks back on my face. I have one right here on the edge of my nose and then one above my lip and I just color them back in. And finally, I go in with my random setting spray. I like to do a glowy look, but this is a matte finish. I don't know, experimenting. <laughs> I see people like drowning their face with it. I normally just would do a couple sprays, but since the girlies are doing that, I'm gonna do that as well. Maybe it'll help it stay on my face. <laughs> Oh 
It's like a nice mist, so I think you're supposed to drown your face in it anyway. Sets for 16 hours. We'll see about that. Now, let's do the lips. For lips, I either line them and use Ballistex, or I use this with the Ballistex. Today, I'm just gonna use this with the Ballistex. so lovely let's get a close-up <laughs> like undeniable very nice <laughs> skin's doing a good job of holding it together <laughs> I feel so pretty I feel like I feel like yay <laughs> unfortunately I'm not going anywhere today I just have like a bunch of household chores to do it's Sunday reset so <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna walk around the house looking absolutely awesome. Okay guys, I hope you have a lovely Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> hope you have a lovely whatever day of the week it is for you. Um, I'll see you next week. <laughs> also, I don't really know what I'm doing with my makeup, so if you have any questions, any tips, any like anything, just put it in the comments and I could just really use any tips or if there's something I use that you want to know more about, I could definitely give you like a little rundown. So just ask and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>